Thick smoke above these mountains in north-central Algeria conceals much of the devastation left by the wildfires. This was one of at least 10 in and around the city of Tiziozu, where entire communities were destroyed. This is Belait's home. It's still standing, but inside everything is gone. His few belongings are scattered in what now looks like an abandoned building. It was a fire like I've never seen before. The fire wasn't moving slowly, it was gusting, and we couldn't be in front of it. We were suffocating. The Madur family is in a similar situation, trying to salvage whatever was spared by the fire. Given what we've been through, I can't believe we're even talking right now and that we're alive. It's really a tragedy, something I'd never experienced before. In other parts of the country, the fires are still burning. The army has been deployed to help, but many teams still lack equipment and villagers have joined the fight. There is a lack of resources. There are only a few firefighters and we are trying to help. May God help us. Anger against the government is growing. Some emergency measures that were passed in 2004 were never implemented. There are few, sometimes no hydrants available for firefighters to get water to battle the flames. It's a similar story with fire breaks and better access to roads. Many facing problems now turn to the community rather than the government. It's our people's solidarity that triumphed. It is Algerian solidarity. It is the citizens that triumphed. The Madur family is like many in Algeria, forced to start over with what's been left after the fires. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.